Let's talk power dressing. Hi, my name is Gazil and I am a certified image consultant. Now, before we begin, what exactly is power dressing? I'm sure the word in itself sounds very daunting like you know you have to be in that black matte suit all day. But power dressing is nothing but to appear in a position of power or you know to appear confident or just dress like you mean it. And no, it is not corporate dressing. It is not to be in formals all the time. What it really means is you have to dress up according to the goals in your life. I'm going to tell you quick and easy ways to achieve power dressing. And when it comes to power dressing, fit is of utmost importance. I mean, if even if you are wearing a suit and it's ill-fitting and you know not tailored as per your body shape, your whole look will go for a toss. It's it's only going to make you look more slouchy, more sloppy, and the look will not fall together. So when it comes to power dressing, just rely on classic cuts and styles and shapes and it is going to make the whole look come together. Coming on to point number 2, be comfortable and true to yourself. So find a way to look more polished in what feels true to yourself and makes you feel comfortable. Now this is what is going to keep you at ease from inside and the same is going to reflect outside. It is going to show more confidence in your attire if you are at ease inside. So look at your wardrobe, see what are the kind of styles and shapes that actually flatter you and you know look great on you and start aligning it towards your power wardrobe. Point number 3, layering. Now layering is going to do that magic for you. By wearing blazers or third layers, it's going to instantly uplift your body silhouette. And what it does is it's going to add a visual weight which kind of you know defines and structures your whole body silhouette which again adds up to your uh, state of power which you might want to achieve now if you are in a workplace where there's no culture of uh, wearing formals what you could do is you could pick up garment pieces that have collars on them by wearing uh, you know polo necks or you know shirts which have collar on them it's going to definitely add to the professionalism and sharpness that you might want to achieve if you want to jazz things up you could go for contrasting collars but don't go for those rounded collars because it's going to take away the power point number 4 attention to detailing now you know those little details they actually get noticed so pay attention to those little details like your watch your uh, bag it could be your accessories you know try and pick up accessories that actually build character in your outfit rather than being too flashy for women an item that uh, instantly automatically kind of makes an outfit high end is a gorgeous leather bag similarly for men if you want to wear suits go for contrasting ties or you know you could wear a brooch and it's going to help you make a statement So point number 5 keep it simple and subtle. Remember with power dressing it's all about making that statement. So go for styles that do not have that major logo or you know tacky hardware going on. You could avoid quirky prints, plaids, checks. Try and keep it monotone and you're going to look million bucks. For women you could avoid skin show because it's going to take away the power completely. Remember a power suit is sexier than a dress. Make sure to follow these little things and you will be able to rock that power look. Now this is what is applicable for both men and women clothing. So let me know how it was. Like if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and you know all those good things. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.